what is Starlink? What is the price for purchasing Starlink in Ghana? Where can you buy Starlink in Ghana? This and many more are questions that Ghanaians are asking about the Starlink internet service all over the internet. And I have taken it upon myself to compile 15 of those questions with answers for you in this video. Shall we? So the first one obviously would be what is Starlink? Now Starlink is an internet satellite constellation project by Elon Musk. <laughs> Wait, the English is a little bit too big. Let me break it down for you. It's just an internet service provider that is coming and the founder is Elon Musk through the company called SpaceX. The second question has to be how does Starlink work. Now, other than the traditional fiber cable that runs throughout the country to provide internet access to various Ghanaian citizens, this one works in quite a different way. It works with satellites, tiny, tiny little satellites placed in Earth's orbit, which is transmitting internet service to the Earth's surface for Ghanaians or wherever you are on this Earth. So with this, you don't have to worry about mommy water going to cut the fiber cable for internet to turn off or something like that. Everything is transmitted via satellite, just like you watch your multi TV with the satellite. You just need to mount the dish over there and you receive the connection. That is how um, Starlink is going to work. Number three, what are the benefits of Starlink. Now, the most relevant of all the benefits is high speed internet, with this promising about 30 to 550 megabytes per second in Ghana. It's something that is mind blowing because in Ghana, to even get 10 megabytes per second of internet speed on your mobile device or computer is something that you would have to go through a lot of stress. I mean, sometimes you have to position yourself in a way, tilt the phone to a certain degrees and lean back at a certain angle before you can get the network to be a little bit stable. And as soon as the wind blows your hand off that position, you are done. But with this, you have assurance of high speed internet connection and a constant network that is going to be provided to you. When will Starlink be available in Ghana? That's the question number four. Now, officially, Starlink hasn't made any announcement of when they will be in Ghana, even though there are people already selling Starlink in Ghana. But officially, Starlink is not in Ghana. So if you'd want to purchase Starlink assets now, you'd have to purchase through third parties or middlemen who have purchased it on somewhere else now you can also search for it online and then buy it online but note that it is not from the official starlink providers number five how much will starlink cost in ghana now in the u.s you have to pay 119 dollars per month and then for the full kit which contains the router the satellite dish the cable and everything you have to pay <clears throat> like 599 dollars but in ghana if you search online you want to purchase you can get some around 1800 1900 ghana cities and those who already have used the starlink in ghana says that the subscription per month that is the unlimited subscription per month is not up to 400 ghana cities so if you can afford the 400 ghana cities per month for unlimited data i think it will be something that will be a good investment if you think it is worth it question number six is what kinds of speed would starlink provide in ghana now as i've already said it will provide you a speed ranging from 22 megabytes to 550 megabytes per second in Ghana. And this is based on reports of people who have already bought and used the Starlink in Ghana. So be expecting some quality high speed internet services when you purchase the Starlink device. Number seven is, will Starlink be available in all parts of Ghana? This is something that I can easily tell you yes because it is not the fiber cable which runs through the country and for internet to be connected in a particular locality they would have to raise an internet mask 
which would then transmit the internet service network to the locality. Now, with this, it is satellite, and satellite is directly from the atmosphere. The satellites are orbiting. So just like your multi-TV that you just mount the satellites and receive the TV connections or TV signals, this is something just similar to that. Number eight, how would Starlink affect existing internet providers in Ghana? Now, as you can see, the internet service game in Ghana is sort of a monopoly in Ghana between MTN Ghana and Vodafone Ghana sharing the existing customers because... Airtel Tigo doesn't really have a strong network as at 2024. They don't have 4G in Ghana. So there are only few places in Ghana which have Airtel Tigo. So it's more or less between MTN and Vodafone. And as you can see, they decide whatever they do with the internet they are providing with us, charging exorbitant amounts of monies. So with the introduction of Starlink, there would be a lot of competition because people would be switching from the traditional MTM Vodafone Airtel to go to purchase the Starlink, which would force the network providers to adjust their prices to meet the competition. Number nine, is Starlink safe? Now, let's say this. It's very, very safe because this one, as you see with the mask, I feel like the mask is even more dangerous due to the emissions of radiations from where the mask is to the people around it, which can cause cancerous diseases and other things. This one is directly from the sky. So we wouldn't have a direct impact. Take note, I said direct impact won't be on us. But as far as it is in space, there'll be other concerns, which I'll tackle in the next questions. Number 10, will Starlink cause light pollution in Ghana? Now, this is something in the United States and other parts of the world has been criticized a lot. But Starlink has come out to clarify that the positioning of the, the asset lights in the atmosphere is something that will have a very, very low impact in causing light pollution. So it's something that we shouldn't worry much of. Number 12, was Starlink used for military purposes in Ghana? Now, let's know that Starlink is a commercial internet service provider and so it has no activities to deal with military service i've heard rumors of people saying that it is the western that wants to track the activities of Ghanaians. that is why they are providing us with starting blah 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 see if they want to track you the traditional cables they are the providers of it so they can just do anything to you so this is something that we shouldn't have worry as far as Starlink is concerned, or as far as we are Ghanaians. <laughs> Number 13, who owns Starlink? Now, I won't answer this question. I'd want you to leave it in the description. If you think you know who owns Starlink, leave it in the description and we'll see who wins it. Even though I've already mentioned it in the video, so this is a test to show whether you've been able to watch and you're attentive. If you know who owns Starlink, drop it in the comment section and would see the winner in our next uploads probably next two or three uploads and then number 15 how can i sign up for starlink in ghana as i already said starlink is not officially in ghana but you can pre-order on the starlink website which is www.starlink.com enter your location and then pay the pre-order fees and when it is officially in Ghana, they will deliver it to you. That is if you want to go that channel. Now, aside that, there are third parties that provide you with assets. So if you just search online how to buy Starlink in Ghana, you would find numerous vendors that are selling this Starlink in Ghana. Do you have any other questions about this product? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ciao. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Bye-bye.